So good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming. For uh, many of the police officers, this day, yeah, you can you can come forward. Social distance. We we <laughs> blocked those off just in case we had needed extra room. We all know how uh, precious parking spaces are in Montpelier, so we have to. Um, so we, we welcome you today to this swearing in ceremony for Chief P. Uh, I'd like to start uh, with a few words from the mayor. So first of all, thank you everyone for coming out this morning uh, to celebrate the swearing in of our, our new chief. Uh, I just want to again thank the hiring committee that uh, spent time to find such a, a wonderful uh, man to join us as our, our chief. And uh, I want to welcome Chief uh, Pete to the city of Montpelier. Uh, we are delighted to have you. And on behalf of the council, uh, we look forward to serving the city of Montpelier alongside you. So uh, thank you again. Thanks to, to you all for, for coming out this morning. And that's it for me. Thank you, Mayor. So yesterday, we uh, appropriately celebrated the closing of an era uh, with uh, saying thank you to Tony and uh, appreciate all he has done. Today we are celebrating the beginning of a new era uh, in Montpelier Policing and it is a historic day. It's been 40 years since we haven't had a born, Montpelier born and bred chief. Uh, both Chief Fakus and Chief Hoyt grew up here, lived here, it was their community, came up through the department. Chief Pete obviously has come from a, a different department so we hope he will bring you new ideas. Uh, as has been publicized, obviously he's the first African-American chief, certainly in Montpelier and in Vermont. And while that is not why he was hired, to be clear, um, we're glad to be able to make progress and to bring uh, diversity to our city, uh, particularly in, in this time. Um, he came extremely well qualified, long history in law enforcement, military, uh, master's degree, uh, I'm not gonna read the whole resume, but very well qualified. The group, uh, some of the folks that are, were involved in the hiring are here right now, and we were all very impressed. He certainly rose to the top. After today, um, we're not gonna worry about his qualifications and his experience or his color or anything else. It's gonna be how he works for Montpelier in Vermont and our community, and we have very high expectations for that, and I know he has it for himself. And we're looking forward, I know I'm looking forward to working with him. Uh, he brings a really, very forward-thinking approach, much like Chief Fakus, but uh, he is a big uh, a proponent of modern policing, 21st century policing, community gathering. Uh, some of you have seen he's already reached out. Uh, despite my best advice, he's having a community meeting on July 4th, so he's not letting any, any time fall uh, go, go wasted. Uh, he is very strong with uh, working with the mental health community, uh, crisis intervention training, uh, these kind of things that we think are essential to the partnerships here in Montpelier. Um, we're excited to see him move our excellent police department uh, into the future. For Brian's sake, there are a few people I think you've met, but uh, just State's Attorney Rory Tebow is here, obviously former Chief Fakus, City Councilmember Jack McCullough is here, Councilmember Donna Bate, Councilmember Dan Richardson, Obviously, many other folks from city staff that you will get to meet. We warmly welcome Chief Pete, his wife Natalie, his daughter Gabriella to our community. We look forward to having them here uh, as friends and neighbors as well as public servants. So I would like to present the chief with his official badge as chief of police. And I believe Natalie's going to pin him. Oh, no and the city clerk will administer the uh, oath of office. <laughs> so 
City Clerk John Odom, come on up and make it all official. met several people here, a lot of people here. So first and foremost, thank you very much for the support. Um, and I hope and I will give that same support back to this community. I first want to acknowledge Tony and Neil. They have been doing this type of community-led policing since before it was cool, since it was before it was something that was uh, brought to the surface because they understand people, they understand service to their community. And I will not betray that trust. I will move it forward and I will make sure that we have the best damn department in this state and in this country. So thank you very much. These are some very big shoes to put. <laughs> to my wife, Natalie, to my daughter, Gabriella. Uh, this is an impossible job to do without your love and your support. So thank you for helping me to get to this point. Thank you for keeping me grounded. And um, looking forward to those nights that we're gonna both be bewildered and be upset and trying to figure out what we do next. But I know together we'll get through it. So thank you. <laughs> to the mayor, to my new bosses, Cameron and Bill, to the city council, um, thank you very much for your trust. I understand the importance of what it means to serve, especially in a city like Montpelier, where it is crucial, whether it's a creed, whether it's ingrained upon us to look out for each other. So I will continue on with that. And again, thank you for your trust and for this opportunity. And uh, then next to the community, I swore an oath to make sure that um, we do what's right, that we serve and we are committed to serve. And this is a very, very strong police department. I would look forward to um, partnerships. I look forward to friendships and I look forward to all of us moving forward and together, uh, especially in a time that's so dynamic as where we are now. And I know we're gonna rise to the challenge and we're gonna be the example for the rest of the nation as far as how police departments serve the communities that they're sworn they open to. And most importantly to the men and women of the Montpelier Police Department. Not a night goes by um, that I'm trying to, that I need to make sure I'm responsible to you, that I'm responsible to your families. And I will do everything in my power to give you everything that you need to serve the people of our great city and to, to lead the example to do what you're already doing. This is the best police department here. Um, so thank you for the opportunity to be a part of your, your family and I'm looking forward to serving you. And thank you everyone for coming. Thank you for those beautiful words, Brian. And thank you all. This is a short ceremony, but it's official now. Chief, Chief Pete's on duty. Is, is he the new 801? He is. He is. 801 signing on, okay. Thought we'd retired that number, but no. <laughs> Um, so, thank you all for coming. Uh, if you want to stay a few minutes, get a chance to meet Brian, Natalie, and Gabriella, that would be great. I know some people have things to do. Some of you are on duty. So, uh, but uh, thank you, the rain, for holding off, and we'll see you all later.